Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about depth of field. Now, to put it in the simplest terms, depth of field is how much of your image is in focus. If you have very little of your image in focus, then you have a shallow depth of field. While if you have a um, lot of your image in focus, then you have a greater depth of field. So if, if you're taking a picture of something and you have the subject in focus but nothing else is in focus, then you have a shallow depth of field. If you're taking a picture of landscape and most of your image is in focus, then that's having a great depth of field. And that's really the simplest way I can put it. Now there are many things that affect depth of field. The first one being the aperture of your lens. The larger the aperture, or the smaller the number of your f-stop, then the less depth of field you get. So if I was shooting a portrait and I wanted the background to be blurred out, I'd shoot with something like this, like a 51.4 with a large aperture of 1.4 so that the subject is in focus while the background and the foreground is out of focus. The smaller the aperture, or the bigger the number of your f-stop, then the more of your images are in focus. So if I wanted to shoot a landscape, I'd shoot at f8 or f16. Um, or if I wanted to shoot any picture and I wanted a lot of the image to be focused, then I'd shoot at somewhere between f8 and f16. The second factor that affects depth of field is the focal length. Now, this is really, really hard to explain, but basically, a longer focal length shows the effect of depth of field greater than something wider. So, if you shoot at uh, a portrait at um, f2.8 uh, with a 14 millimeter lens, and you shot one with an 85 millimeter lens at f2.8 also. You'd see the effect of the focused subject and the out of focus background and foreground more with the 85 millimeter lens because it's longer. You won't really see it too much with the with the 14 millimeter 2.8 lens. And the last factor that affects the f um, the depth of field is how far away the subject is from your lens. And let's say I take a picture of the camera that I'm shooting this video with, with this, with, with this camera. So I'm shooting at 1.4. Actually, I'll shoot at 2.8. So I'm shooting at 2.8. Basically, the camera will be in focus while everything else will practically be out of focus. But if I shoot something really far away with the same settings, if I shoot a mountain range far, far away, then a lot of the image will still be in focus. So you can actually shoot a landscape lens with a large aperture, if it's far enough. Um, so sometimes you'll see a landscape and you're like, oh, that has a large depth of field. It doesn't mean it's shot with f8 or f11. It could have been shot with f4 or f5.6 or f2.8 f2 even. So that's the last factor that determines depth of field. Um, and that's basically it. Again, I'm trying to keep these videos short so that you can go through them. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave me a comment or um, send me a message and I'll, I'll surely get back to you. I get back to everyone. And thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.